revealing the smallest tiny home we've ever built to Francis Camosi. But I couldn't be here on this one because of the exploding demand for tiny houses across the nation. So my buddy Pete, landscape designer and tiny house authority, is filling in for me and has created an amazing outdoor space, while Zach is about to show Francis a couch that's more than meets the eye. We've got this space here, which is obviously couch. your couch, you've yep. got your TV there. And then if you uh, got a brother that wants to spend the night, yeah. converts to a bed. If you undo these latches in the corner. What? And just let it lift <laughs> up. And now it becomes your desk. I mean, I knew we talked about making things have multi-purpose. It doesn't take up that much no. room, given that it serves three functions. Yeah. Should we continue? Yeah, let's do it. What? <laughs> See, this this doesn't feel tiny. It's this, not tiny. No. This feels nice and spacious. It feels much larger than when I was actually just kind of building the yeah. walls. You'll notice that we've also put in your eco-friendly composting toilet. And it saves on water. Yeah. It causes less waste. And in the end, you can actually recycle your waste in a way that's much better for the planet. I love it. And you have my water. We do. <laughs> you didn't forget. We, did. we didn't, didn't forget. forget. Let me present the latest and uh -oh. greatest in spiral staircase technology. It's a piece of art. That silhouette when you come in the front door, you don't even notice that this is actually the way to get to the top. The first thing you notice is just what a great piece. Yeah. Do you want to see where you're sleeping? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, my map. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't that magic? It is. I love the light up here. I can sit up. I'm not even touching the wall, and I'm stretched out. I remember you saying to me about the other tiny house felt really like a cave. There's a few things that I would have done differently on my own tiny house, yeah. and making the loft bigger is absolutely the first thing I would have done. Yeah. And these windows open up? Absolutely, they open up, mate. And then the white, it almost looks like birch trees. It's reclaimed wood. We cut the paint in half. We've kept the white until that level, and then the natural wood. Because to have it one color would really close it in. Yeah. It just really makes it feel like there's different components to the house rather than it just be one color, one space. Yeah. We've got the TV on an arm. You can sit upstairs and watch the game. I think that might be your favorite room in the house. I think it is. You're in charge of the tiny house kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've managed to deliver the dream home in only 150 square feet. What are your initial thoughts? I got to say, it's not my dream home. It is so far beyond what I could have ever thought up. I am a proud homeowner. Not only a proud homeowner, I'm a proud, tiny homeowner.